I want to take this opportunity to express a warm welcome to you and to your delegation to South Africa for this fourth South African Norwegian high level consultation. It's a great pleasure and an honor for me to uh, once again co host the high level consultations after the scheduling difficulties that we experience. And we want to ex appreciate the Norwegian initiative to ensure that the consultations still take place, even at the deputy minister's level, um, in order not to lose momentum mm. of our cooperation. And we've agreed in our Tateate that we need to maintain this momentum. The high-level consultations provide an important opportunity for us to take stock of how far we have come <coughs> since we last met. Mm. The pillars, core pillars of South Africa and Norway cooperation in the fields of environment, energy, maritime affairs, science and technology, trade and industry, and peacekeeping and mediation are informed by our country's priorities. We are appreciative of the partnership and the continued contribution of the Norwegian government in support of South Africa's development agenda as identified in the nine point plan the National Development Plan and Agenda 2030. I am at the same time cognizant of the need to strengthen some areas and also identify other areas of cooperation for the mutual benefit of our two countries. <clears throat> we also value the dialogues that we always have on regional and multilateral issues of mutual interest or concern. Thank you in particular for your country's financial and other support in advancing South Africa's role in peacekeeping and mediation, especially through the Gertrude Chopin program. Mm. At the end of our consultations, we will be signing the Memorandum of Agreement on Peacekeeping and Mediation, which is an important milestone in, this cooperation, <coughs> in our cooperation mm. in this area. I look forward to our engagement today and also read the report from the working groups who will appraise us on progress in the implementation and advancement of our cooperation program. Uh, it's been a while since the last round in Oslo in 2015, but we are very pleased that we can now meet for a new round. Uh, and this is not, of course, uh, the only format of interaction between our two countries. Uh, on the contrary, our politicians and our officials, they meet frequently and cooperate on all levels. Here and in Norway, in, as well as in New York, in Geneva, and Addis Ababa, and, and elsewhere. Um, so for example, our foreign ministers meet every year for the no Nordic African foreign ministers meeting. Uh, and this year's meeting is going to be held in Copenhagen on 6th and 7th of June, and hopefully they will meet, yes. meet there. <laughs> But these uh, formal consultations give us an opportunity to discuss the full breadth uh, of uh, our relationship. And they allow us to take stock, to take the long-term perspective, uh, to set targets and formulate visions for our cooperation. And for us, these consultations are important and valuable. Norway greatly appreciates the relationship, the close relationship with South Africa. and. Uh, maintaining and strengthening our already extensive political and economic partnership is a political priority for the Norwegian government. Yesterday, our senior, very excellent senior uh, officials from a broad range of ministries and government bodies uh, had long meetings. And uh, I very much look forward to reading their reports in a week or two, uh, hopefully, um, as, um, as you do too, Deputy Minister. I'm com confident that you have um, identified concrete areas of cooperation for us to focus on uh, over the next year. And I have particularly high expectations for what we can achieve together in the multilateral context, uh, as both our countries believe so strongly in a multilateral world order. and not the least, our cooperation on the blue economy and the oceans. South Africa and Norway have many things in common, and one of them uh, is the fact that we both have a long coastline and uh, close contact with the sea. 
But there is also potential for joint efforts in many other areas. Uh, as I mentioned in our meeting this morning, um, as we talked about the uh, partnership in the area of uh, peace and reconciliation, uh, we particularly focus on the role of women. And there's South African mediators in Oslo been this week, mm -hmm. and I think that's very extremely successful and important. Mm. So I know there's also plans to expand this cooperation further, and this has uh, the Norwegian government's full support. And we also have strong ties and cooperation in the areas of research and higher education. Uh, and here we are entering a new chapter with the finalization of the South African Norway Cooperation on the Ocean Research Agreement, San Ocean, uh, with the oceans firmly placed in the middle. Mm. Uh, with regards to business opportunities, <coughs> I have high hopes for the energy sector, both promising South African oil and gas sector and uh, your renewable energy sector. Economic growth and employment are important for both of us. And I believe we still have a lot of untapped potential. Um, but as, let's not delay our the proceedings anymore. Uh, I'll just say again that I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, Norway deeply values its close relationship with South Africa.